Welcome back to another video. Before we actually get into the application demo, which is what this video is all about, I'm launching a new course and I'm about to give you an application demo of what it's all about. I want to let you know that I'm going to be doing a discount on my website. So I'm going to give you 20% off if you use the discount code Philip20 on all the subscriptions on Coding with Mitch. This is just kind of a it's a benefit because I'm launching a new course. So I usually like to do a discount when I when I launch a new course. So discount code Philip20. It's going to be good for one week starting today. So you have one week to sign up, use a discount code, get 20% off. Let's go take a look at the demo. In this video, I'm going to go over an application demo of my newest course. In this course, we are going to be building an app that gives you the ability to build a GIF. Now, before I talk any more about it, like the topics, let's just get into it and do a demo. I really want to show this to you. It's pretty cool. So in the app, when you launch it, you can choose a background image. I'm going to choose this image of me. Sure, why not? You have the ability to crop this thing and we are going to build a GIF out of it. I'm actually going to make this a little bit smaller there we go so if we crop it now what i can do is i can drag these deal with it sunglasses wherever i want to on the screen and i can drag i'm going to drag it to the top press the record button and then drag them down onto my eyes and when i click stop the app will take that information and it's going to build a gif out of it so here you see it's now playing back to me now you'll notice down at the bottom it's actually quite large it's 7,000 kilobytes approximately, which is absolutely huge for a GIF. GIFs should not be this big. Uh, you know, the intention was here to be, if you're at work, like, and you have an internal Slack or whatever kind of communication thing that you use at work, I wanted to be able to build a GIF and add it as an emoji to that Slack. That's how I got the inspiration. I wanted to be able to build a GIF for somebody at work who was doing something cool. I could get these sunglasses come down on their face. I could upload it to this, the work Slack and then use it as an emoji. So that's why I added this resize option down at the bottom. So I can resize this thing. I'm gonna resize it to be like, I don't know, let's go really small because at Square we can only upload GIFs that are about 150 kilobytes. Now, generally the estimator, this is an approximate size down in the bottom. It says 214, but it's probably going to be a little bit smaller. So I'm going to go with 214 kilobytes. I'm going to click resize. And then we get this not very great looking UI, but at least it gives me some kind of an update as to how far along the resizing process is. Once it's finished, it builds the GIF and that looks terrible. But you got to keep in mind that this thing is going to be it's going to be tiny in your Slack. And you can see here it's 158 kilobytes. We're almost at the size that um, that would be allowed for me to upload to to, um, to the company Slack. And this looks probably OK. Like if you were to shrink this down to the size that's visible on Slack, that would probably look OK. But let's reset the resizing and I'm going to resize it to be, I don't know, let's do like 2000 kilobytes. And I'm going to fast forward the video here so you don't have to watch this loading progress bar. Okay, so we got 1800 kilobytes. That looks not too bad. Now my two options are to save it or to delete it. So the X at the top is to delete it and reset, or I can press the green checkbox to save it to the external storage on the phone so that it's public and it can be available to other apps or to me if I wanna browse my file storage. So I'm gonna click the green check mark. The state gets reset so I can record a new GIF if I want to. I could choose another background image, you know, whatever. So let's go and actually check if this thing was say, actually saved to my internal storage. So I'm gonna click on images and boom, there you go. There's the GIF that we just recorded. So the, the main sort of topic for this course is the Android file system. There's gonna be, you know, reading and writing files. Um, when they changed, like the different versions, like I think it was API level 28 or 29. Um, this, I should know this because I just wrote the built the course on it, but it's API level 28 or 29. They introduced scoped storage. So like, what does that mean? I'm basically showing you how to save files and read files before scoped storage existed, after scoped storage existed. Uh, of course, asking for permissions if you need it. Um, input streams, output streams, of course, because we be writing tons of different files and also working with the cache. So what does the cache mean? The cache is also known as the internal storage on the phone. So we're going to be working with external storage. That's like public storage and internal storage, which is like quote unquote private storage, which only your app can see. We got Jetpack Compose. We got Kotlin, of course, coroutines and flows. The architecture is kind of a hybrid between MVVM and MVI. Typically, I like MVI, but I went with sort of, I don't know, I kind of mixed them up a little bit. So turned out pretty good. Um, managing state, uh, how to build a GIF. Like how do, how do you actually 
build a GIF? What, what is happening when I press that record button? How does that GIF get built? I'll give you a little, uh, get a little sneak peek. It actually uh, captures screenshots of the GIF sort of capture area. It um, creates a bitmap out of those screenshots and it tracks uh, all of the screenshots that get captured throughout the running of that process. And then it builds a GIF out of it. So if you want to learn more, you have to watch the course, but that's generally how it goes. We got uh, resizing a GIF. So resizing a GIF is actually quite complicated because you can't just take the GIF and say, hey, I want the GIF to be this size. You actually have to resize each individual bitmap that the GIF was built out of and then build a new GIF out of those resized bitmaps. So quite a complicated process, actually. We got handling errors, obviously, from our use cases, and we got hilt for dependency injection. Those are kind of the main topics, but the, the main overarching concept or topic of the course is going to be the Android file system. And of course, I wrote unit tests. I wrote a lot of unit tests. I'm not actually going to go through the unit tests on video, but I wrote unit tests for every single use case in the, in the course, in the app. So if you want to learn how to test, you know, the Android file system, input streams, output streams, all that kind of stuff, uh, you can just take a look at the master branch after you're done or before you're done, whichever, whenever you want to look at it. And you can see how I unit tested those things. Uh, I didn't record the videos for the unit test because I suspect 95% of people aren't going to watch them. And it would probably take me like 20 hours or more. So if you want to look at them, check out the code. Now, the last thing I want to address before I end this video is the question on all of your mind. Is this course free? No, it's not free. I haven't made a course in like a year. I'm due for a paid course. And if you like my content, you like the videos I make, you like my courses, which most people do. I think I got like a, let's take a look at my testimonials. I got a, I got 1200 testimonials and a 4.98 star rating. I think that's pretty good. Probably people like my courses. So yes, this is going to be a paid course. If you want to watch the course, you can just go to codingwithmitch.com, create an account and go over to enroll. And I got uh, various subscriptions there. I can't see them because I'm logged in with my account, but the pricing is there. Check it out. Go over to the enroll tab and you'll be able to see that. Uh, the course will be live on my website. Uh, you can just go to courses and you'll find it there uh, or there'll be a link down below in this video thanks for watching and for everybody who checks out the course thank you for enrolling on my website for supporting what i do here making videos it takes uh many 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 hours to make these courses i work full time at square so this course took me uh, probably four months to make because i have to work on it after work and on weekends it takes a long time man takes a long time so i don't think it's a lot to ask for a little bit of something from you guys who get to enjoy my courses and all of the the problems that i run into and solve for you as always thanks for watching and uh, i'll see you in that next video